Convection is one of those words we often hear used, but we may not completely understand its meaning. Weather forecasters show how convection currents are formed when warm and cold air masses meet in the atmosphere. Convection currents are responsible for warm water currents that occur in oceans. This activity demonstrates convection currents in a very colorful fashion. Good morning, fourth graders. Today we're going to be doing a mini science experiment about hot and cold convection, and these are the materials you need. Four empty identical bottles. The mouth of the bottle should be at least one to one and a half inches in diameter. Two different colors of food coloring, and in this experiment we're using blue and yellow. Two playing cards paper towel, masking tape, and a black pen. Now fill up the four bottles, two with cold water, two with hot water, and then take the masking tape and label the two bottles cold and the other two hot. Next, take the blue food coloring and add two to three drops into the cold bottles. Next, take the yellow food coloring and add two to three drops into each hot bottle. Cold over hot. Place the playing card over the mouth of one of the cold water bottles. Hold the card in place as you turn the bottle upside down and rest it on top of one of the hot water bottles. The bottle should be positioned so that they are mouth to mouth with the card separating the two liquids. Carefully slip the card out from in between the two bottles. Make sure that you are holding on to the top bottle when you remove the card. As you can see, the cold water sinks as the hot water rises. Much like when the sun heats the earth and the cold air sinks and the hot air rises. Hot over cold. Repeat steps two and three, but this time place the bottle of hot water on top of the cold water. As you can see, the hot water and cold water do not mix. This is the result of temperature inversion. That, in short, is hot and cold convection.